Hello and welcome guys, welcome, welcome to another airport management game gem, uh, airport CEO on my channel Sadman Plays, we're playing airport CEO gameplays uh, today and onwards because we have played Sim Airport, we've played uh, Sky Haven, all of them were like awesome, it's time to check out airport CEO, thanks to the developers though, I can't pronounce their names, oh, Hi, peace. Oh my gosh. Okay, come on. Get a good name, guys. I can't pronounce these. Okay, anyways, uh, thanks to the developers for giving me a key in order to check it out and show it off to you guys. I played the game a little bit, by the way. Uh, not too much. Just a little bit, like an under an hour or so. But yeah, just so that I could get famili familiarized with this, uh, you know, game and whatnot. So let's sort of check it out, guys. Let's sort of check it out. We're going to start a new game with you guys, obviously. Okay, we are going to be gender man. Face is going to be... Like, so, I mean, it doesn't really matter, uh, but we'll go for this. Hairstyle is super bad. I could go for bold. Uh, okay. Uh, this is probably me, actually, to be honest. Uh, let's say hair color skin is going to be, like, so I'm going to say that's me. Uh, eyes, nose, these don't matter really. Suit is fine. And the name is going to be Sadman uh, with Plays. There we go. Sadman Plays. Uh, he is it. Obviously, it looks a lot like me, but without the beard. Okay, so, uh, we are going to say, where are we going to sort of go to? That's a good question. Well, I'd say, uh, I'd say that's England, right? I, oh my gosh, okay, yeah, there we go. Okay, so, uh, that should be, Manchester should be on this sort of area. I, I can't really place it. Uh, I think this is where Manchester should be. So, I'm going to go over here, continue, and let's see. Uh, we're going to say the name of our airport, guys. It's going to be Razzle Bazzle Airport. Uh, Razzle Bazzle Airport. Actually, International Airport. Why not? International. Uh, there we go. Did, did I even... Oh, my God. Okay, International. That is correct. How you do it. Uh, this is going to be a Man because Manchester. And then let's go around... Uh, I'd say, what should be our logo like? Okay, let's see. Um, I'd say... Manchester Airport. Should we actually name it Mando? <laughs> I'm just thinking. Should, I mean, we could just say RBI, you know, Razzle Bazzle International. So let's go for Razzle Bazzle International. Uh, we are going to say, let's get ourselves this one. I feel like this is a good one. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go for moderate. I don't really care about hard or dip extreme difficulty or easy. I mean, I want to go for moderate and see what we can do, guys. We want to see what we can do as much as we can do it. Okay, so let's launch the game. And whilst this is loading, uh, I just want to remind you guys to, uh, you know, remember to subscribe to my channel, leave a like on this video, and comment and let me know what you guys think of this one. Let me know in the comment section below, though, which is your favorite, like Sim Airport, Sky Haven, or Airport CEO, because I'd be interested to find out. Mine is obviously so far Sim Airport. I'm sorry, but it's just, it's just my favorite. And at the moment, I have played too little for of this one to really know how much I, uh, I like it compared to the other one, so yeah. Uh, but as you can see, this is our airport. It's quite big. Well, not quite big. It's quite small, like quarter sized. Um, these are not unlocked yet. These are going to cost me quite a lot of money, but we are not going to do that yet because we do have a introduction. Okay, uh, this is the first day on the job. Let, uh, then let's go through this short introduction together. Obviously, all of this stuff. Build panel where airport related structures and items can be found. Some objects are not yet available, like this thingy right there. Don't move, don't move. Stop moving. Stop moving, I tell you. Stop moving. Oh, darn it. Okay, never mind. We will see those when we sort of do our research and whatnot. Okay, so this is the panel, whatever this is. Yep. Uh, the management panel, as you can see. A lot of stuff, dashboard, emails, and all that stuff. We will see those too. Uh, today's episode is mostly going to be like uh, getting the basics done. You know, getting the basics done is going to be the main part of this episode. We are getting um, all the tutorial. Well, not all, but most of the tutorial done. Okay. So let's go next is the economy stuff where we can see our income expenses, other expenses, other income, all that stuff. Uh, we could order new products and take out loans here as well. As you can see, offered contracts, accepted uh, accepted contracts, loans, uh, fees, all that stuff. Okay, let's go next. Uh, this is operations. Airport is closed at the moment. We could also do like construction right there, uh, R&D projects and airport control uh, panel, which is this one. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Uh, so, to the right is the airport rating panel, they're talking about this one. I have no clue how this works, to be honest, because I literally don't understand this, okay? 
I mean, it says average and it says current right there. And then there's these, which I have no, uh, not applicable options around these. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Let's move on. Uh, oh, oh, it looks like we received an email actually. Uh, so I'm going to open this up. You can sort of read this up if you want to, uh, by pausing the game. It's really not that, uh, you know, important. It's just, you know, the mayor sent us an email. So let's go off. Uh, ooh, I went to Blackpool, not Manchester. Ah, okay, it's fine, it's fine. Let's go. Uh, by pressing F or the left mouse icon button, uh, bottom field, you will open the flight panel, which is right there, by the way. Uh, once you have that, you can, I mean, we will need, like, stuff before we can do, like, flight, uh, flight planners and everything. So we are not going to do that yet. Okay, well, there you have learned uh, by yourself from this point on. Press H, mark whatever. Okay, let's go. Okay, so this is the first bit of the thing, guys. We have to start with a small airport. Now, I did start the previous one over here, but unfortunately, I figured, like, it's going to be complicated from now on if we start over here, mainly because we are going to unlock all of these in order to grow our airport into a big, big, big one. Uh, so we are going to say, let's go on this side, yeah. So first thing I'm going to do is let's get ourselves a runway, I believe. Yes, I believe that's the case. Uh, ooh, yeah, they're actually talking about this. Okay, that's fine. We have to sign a contract and then start on the runway. But I'm going to start with the runway first, guys, because uh, the reason being... Now, here's the deal. Like, up for... Uh, can you have for better durability? Uh, small runway supporting small aircraft. Now, this is like 50,000 more. We've got like 2 million. I'm going to go for this one. I know like... Ah, oh, darn it. What am I doing? Okay, so, yeah. I'm supposed to press the wrong button. Okay, so, I know that we could go for like... Um, the grass one, but I think I'm going to go for this one, mainly because I don't want to upgrade later on. I'm just going to keep it this way, um, you know, it sort of saves us some money. So this is going to stay here. Obviously, things will come out eventually. Um, and because we have this, we can sort of uh, get ourselves the person right here, go to operations, get some construction crew going. Oh, I completely forgot about the other one. Um, where is it? Where is it? Uh, economy. Uh, offered contracts, yep, okay, so the star rating, guys, really does say it all, to be honest, because as you can see, uh, maximum contract is 81, hourly fee is $7.2, whereas Berkeley hourly rating is $5.8, which is like, you know, much better for us, so we're going to sort of say sign, and let's go, we've got our first people, we are now going to move on to operations, get ourselves people coming in, deploy contractors, um, Construction workers, really, they should be called, but they're being called contractors. I don't know. I'm going to go for 40 people, by the way. Uh, I've tried with 30, I've tried with 50. And I feel like 40 might be the better idea option. And we're going to get them all come in as soon as possible. Once they do come in, we will see what we get in terms of people. Yep, time to get our hands dirty, obviously. Okay, let's go next day. All that stuff. Okay. Uh, place two runway ramps on both sides. Okay, we are going to do that. Now, I think I might have done something wrong. Huh. Uh, okay. Ooh. What are these, by the way? I'd be interested to find out. Oh, I see what they are. What if I turn this around like so? Ooh. Oh, my days. I'm so interested in this. I've not seen this before. Uh, but I am interested in... Yep, I'm gonna get this. And I'm gonna get the other one too. I'm sorry, but I do like this, you know? Let's get you. Let's okay, you've got to be like that. And we don't want over there. Let's go to the other one then. I think it's this one. Uh, uh, again, what am I doing? Ah, darn it. Okay, so this is supposed to be like so. So we're going to go for the that one. Okay, what am I doing? Like, seriously, why am I getting the wrong one every time? Or am I getting the wrong one? I don't think I'm getting the wrong one. Huh. I mean, I think it like it would be. Okay, give me a second. It's the second one, and this is the third one, because, oh, there we go, finally, it's going to work. Okay, so I'm going to get another one right there, that way we have more stuff coming in, that way we have more people building stuff, and now we can finally go for some uh, runway ramps, fine, we need some other stuff, drag taxiway foundation, I know, I know, where's the taxiway? Can't always find stuff, okay, so taxiway foundation, I'm going to go for this one, um, should we go for this one, operating cost is $1.00, versus 0.67 dollars so eventually actually what happens is you actually start to be okay so i'm gonna get this to be like over here and i'm gonna go like four up there oopsie daisy there we go and there we go okay so uh that's our main stuff that we are trying to get done 
obviously we will need all these people to finish this off and then we'll start off as you can see it's a bit different i do like that a lot a uh, new report as you can see i've already read those so i'm gonna sort of open this up you can sort of check it out by pausing the game if you want to uh but i'm not gonna read it anymore uh, let's go to the other side same thing same thing uh, cfo cfo uh, and moving on okay it's still off by the way uh, but one of the ways we do make money, and at the start you do have to use this, uh, it's the only way to do it, is to get general aviation. Yes, so we'll need to play some uh, stuff, what's it called, yes, aircraft stand, where we are going to accept general aviation, so 66 versus 100. So we are actually spending more money, but we are sort of saving money on operating cost, so I'm gonna go for these, okay? I know that, uh, why do I always keep forgetting, okay, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, I feel like that's a good idea. So yeah, I know guys that we... Uh, okay, I think I have this the wrong way. Yep, this is the way it's supposed to be. So I know that we could go... Actually, I'm gonna go for the grass ones, guys. Because I wanna see everything, right? But uh, it's just... Uh, darn it, again. See, I press the wrong button all the time. But yeah, so I wanna see the grass ones. And then eventually we can upgrade for the better ones. And we will also save money in the process as well. So I'm gonna get like three four on this side we're not done yet because we are going to get like four more on the other side as well so let me just see yep it's correcto let's go on the other side let's go one two three and four so yes that's what we are going to do guys by the way in case you didn't know uh because i want this to be what we have and i feel like it's going to be good okay so let's wait for the construction to finish though because it's going to take a little bit of time for us to get this done by the way look at this cow uh, is it a cow? What's this? I know it's something, uh, but there are animals. The problem is there are animals. We will need to figure out how we're going to fix these up, okay? Uh, eventually we will do that, not to worry. These are going to be done. I so wanted to get those other ones on the asphalt ones. And now I'm thinking maybe I should have gone for the grass ones as well, like in these places, you know? But you know what? It sort of saves us money. And the grass ones, we have seen, but <sighs> I mean, you guys probably have seen if you guys are big fans of, you know, Airport CEO. You probably have seen it, and I feel like we are going to save some money. So let's sort of set up the taxiway path once they do this. Okay, what is going on? Oh, yep, wrong place. You can't actually go there. You can go there. And go up. Okay, that much then. Go on up. Come on. Get these done. Okay, so that's done. Okay, let's go over here. We're still waiting. Once these are done, we will have to place all of these to be uh, on this place. Ooh, I think I went for the wrong one, did I? So we've got one there. We don't have any space over here. Huh. Uh, how big is this? One, two, oh, I might have gone like small a bit. Okay, we've got one. We haven't got. Okay, what we could do is simply put uh, another taxiway foundation one from here to over there quickly. That way we increase the size and we also get some stuff done. Okay, let's wait for these to be finished before we move on to the next bit. Okay, they're almost done by the way, and you do need to connect uh, these. Air, like taxiway paths to the stands to be honest that's the main thing that you should always be careful of uh, we are also going to place some other stuff by the way we need to place an ATC tower and if we don't do it it's just time wasted so what we will do is we're going to go for some taxiway path no uh, taxiway no I'm not looking for taxiway I'm looking for ramp services uh, vehicle depot service okay all that stuff I know I do want to put an ATC tower, but I also want uh, the other thing first. I know this is the ATC tower, but I'm not looking for this one first. I think what I need is one way roads. Okay, service road. That's what I was looking for. Okay, so service road. Here we go. So I actually tried putting the service roads like separate from the airfields, but apparently it's not really that good because the vehicles do tend to sort of go over these like uh, airport like not airport, like gate roads really. If I have like a service road right there, it's gonna go over there, then turn onto this service road because I don't know why it, it does that weird stuff. But to be honest, if if it's up to me, I'll probably go without going onto these roads really, like uh, these bits, and I prefer to go like separately, not on this road, you know? Uh, anyways, we've got this done. I'll still need the ATC tower, which I was sort of working with, so let's get the ATC tower. Oh, come on, come on. Okay, so I'm gonna get the ATC tower to be on this place. I'd say let's turn it around like that. I know it's like up against this one, uh, but really, I don't mind it. Okay, so let's get the ATC tower in, and then eventually we'll need other stuff. 
They're gonna sort of get to it, I might as well face it because uh, the stuff does take some time to come and they're still being paid. So yeah, I will sort of say, uh, next, okay, open operations, open airport, we don't want to open the airport just now, do we? I mean, okay, let's just do it, let's just open the airport, operations, open airport, allow general aviation as well, because that's the only flights we can get at the moment, um, open runway, go here, and say, oh, operational, no, no, oh, darn it, that's not the one, open runway, there we go, so finally, it's now, open for everyone to come in and go out. We're taking in small aircrafts, we're taking in general aviation, no commercial flights yet, or medium or large aircrafts, because we will need uh, for all that to be done later on. Uh, so anyways, we're gonna have to wait for the next day, I think. Uh, let's fast forward to the next day, because flights are still gonna come in, and once we get to five flights, we will be okay, let's see. Uh, there we go, I think that's done. Uh, get ready for GA flights to land. It, uh, animals enter the runway or taxiway. See, that's the problem. See, animals is a big, big problem. That's something we don't want. So let's fence this in, guys. Because we need probably, I mean, you have to secure the air airport, right? I feel like that's a given, you know? You have to secure this area. I'm gonna have to put in a lot of fences, and it's gonna take a little bit of time to do that. So let's do that, guys. Let's do that together, and then I'll come back once this is sort of done. So give me a second. It will be done soonish. Okay, they're actually working on the fences, it's gonna take a little bit of time. I've put like a couple of gates in somewhere here, which I can't see, because they're invisible gates, invisible gates as I like to call them. Uh, they're gonna come in once they do, but anyways, these guys should be able to go in and out. Uh, the reason why I put like um, 8 instead of the recommended 5 is really because I want them to be able to go in and out, and we want to make a lot more, a lot more money, which we are not making anymore. I mean, there we go, we are back into the positive again. Uh, but yeah, that's what I want to do, guys. Uh, congratulations on your first film from the airport. The GA pilots are enjoying your airport, but some are concerned about the lack of aircraft refueling services. Let's get started with constructing all required structures for a basic refueling service. Well, let's do it. Firstly, we'll need something uh, called the... Okay, not this. Okay, yeah. We, I, is this where we are going to go? Yeah, I think we need uh, like a vehicle de depot. And Ah, oh, darn it. Why do I always turn the wrong way? Okay, there we go. So this is what we're going to need. As you can see, this was sort of fitting in perfectly, that's why I got this. Uh, but once the vehicle stuff is done, I will also need a few other things. Oh, I completely forgot about the other stuff. Okay, give me a second. You would also need a way to get into the airport, which is going to be through... Let's see... Um, it's got to be through... Where is it? I can't find it always. Bus shelters, no bus stops, no... Okay, what's this called? Uh, I think the vehicle checkpoint. Yep, there we go, finally. Okay, so I need you question is, yep, I need this guy to go in right there. I feel like this is a very good option for us. If we just place this in, right over here, and it's sort of fenced in, but we will still need other stuff. And we will need to be able to get through to here. We will also need the AV, uh, AV, AV gas thingy, which is basically used for, like, airport stuff. Uh, let's just call it that. But firstly, I'm gonna need this to be, like, connected to the outside world, public road. Ah, oh, come on. There we go, finally. Uh, oh, you also have to select these. And then we can move on to the service road that we've got around the place. Okay, I'd like this, and then I'd like that to come into there. Finally, done. So you guys should be uh, still busy. Where are my contractors gone? I can't find them. Where could you... Oh, they're still working on the fence. See, I told you it's going to take a long, long time. But once they are done, we will also need the AV gas stuff, uh, which is right here somewhere. AV gas, fuel depot. Uh, place small AV gas. Okay, where is it? I feel like this is the one. Um, I, I guess this is the one. I mean, I'm not sure. Let's see. I think so. Ah, oh, come on. I keep on pressing the wrong button. I think this is good. I think this is the one. Um, AV gas, 100 mil. Yeah, okay. This is the one. This is the one. Guys, let's get this in. Hopefully, this will be helpful for everyone. We'll still need to do a few things, by the way, which you will see eventually, but let's sort of let them finish these to be built first, and then we'll sort of move on to the next bit. Okay, great. I feel like we have done everything. Uh, have we? Yes, we are almost ready to offer AV gas for 100 litre 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 litre? Refueling service. All we need to do now is purchase a fuel truck and sign a contract with, all, uh, with an aviation fuel supply. Well, that's doable. First thing we'll need to do is open up the tab. Yes, very simple. Uh, next we go to vehicles, yep, right there, and we go to purchase vehicles. Now, they say like 
purchase one, but I'm going to purchase about three. And I think that will be good. Let's go uh, three. And they will come in, guys. They, we will see that they will come in pretty soon, okay? Um, where are they? Did I not purchase them? I feel like I did purchase them. Oh, no, they're, they're still coming in, so that's fine. Uh, once they do come in, we'll see them sort of ride into this little fuel dip. Uh, not fuel dip, but like this vehicle depot right up there. It's, it's gonna look awesome. Um, there we go, finally, it's sort of coming in. All of them. All three vehicles with uh, their service stuff and all that. Ooh, we are losing money, we are losing money. I don't like that at all. We will sort of get to it, not to worry. Uh, that's why I'm sort of building slowly. I mean, we did spend a lot more money on this stuff, but we are sort of spending less money as well. But anyways, now that this is done, let's go over to sign some contracts. It's got to be an economy, contracts. Now again, uh, let's now go through this. Let's say aviation fuel supplies. We've got one, two, three. And you can see the star marks really tell you tell it all uh, when it comes to the price point. 0.41 litre, uh, actually. Um, a AV gas, 100 litre litre. Aviation is 1.46 per litre. Uh, 1.34 so it's cheaper over there and it's even cheaper than this so yeah we are gonna sign this one guys AV fuel okay and jet fuel we are not gonna sign yet okay so we've got this obviously but we have to wait for this to sort of come in okay we have to wait for this truck to come in to deliver some gas to us we've got security working I right, show me the ID show me the ID there we go finally some fuel coming through which means these guys will sort of collect them and we will see that this is completely empty again. Because everything has been collected. Awesome. So what we will need to do is... Um, there is something that we needed to do. Um, cycle information. No, not that. Okay. Wait for the aviation fuel supplier to refill fuel depot. That's going to happen soon, I feel like. I guess. I mean, I can't see them coming through. Oh, there we go. Finally. Uh, what we do need to do, though, guys, is go to operations. Overview. Where's the overview? In that order. Operation, sorry. Okay, yeah, there we go. So we need to turn this on. Uh, AV gas 100 litre litre fuel service is now enabled, which means flights will be able to finally get some gas going into their tankers. Yes, they will not go empty. They will not go empty. So these seem like they're alright. Okay, so that's good. That's very good. Moving on, let's refuel five uh, general aviation flights through these, you know, uh, tankers really, which they're not doing at the moment, but they will, they will. Uh, once we get like new flights, let's move on to the next day if we could. Can't advance while aircraft is in motion. Okay, so do you need some gas, my friend? I feel like you do. Yep, there we go. Finally, we have a flight with a gas requirement, a requirement, AV gas. And there we go. One person done. Just one so far, but it's gonna happen soon. Uh, season change, summer has arrived. Awesome. It's summer, but we can't go out. There's no way we can go out. Um, it's still lockdown time, <laughs> it's still lockdown time where I'm at, but anyways, uh, seems like we are doing good, we're doing good in terms of all that stuff, we need to sort of keep going, uh, we need like more flights to sort of go, can you just leave so that we can like get a flight with requirement for AB gas, I guess not, we could go expand this a little bit further though, I mean we could have like two more, we're still making money and losing money here and there, but it's not a lot of money, so that's the main thing, okay? Uh, we're not losing like extraordinary amount of money you know like that is just not gonna happen on my watch uh come on now let's get like five refueling done and then we can come back to you so let's see hundred dollars only seriously ah darn it okay never mind let's just go on congratulations you now know the basics of, of airport operations you can continue expanding your airport general aviate uh, general aviation aircraft earning money from services these aircraft alternately you can expand your airport handle commercial flights which carry passengers that is exactly what we're gonna do guys that's exactly what we're gonna do so drag out terminal foundation at 20 by 15 at the minimum which we are gonna do right here Ooh, why did i go darn it okay yeah so that's what we're gonna do guys next bit it's gonna be trying to do that it's gonna be over on this side, I'd say. Yeah, I'll sort of get started. Let's see. Um, I will say, where's the terminal at? Yeah, I'm sort of looking for a way to plan this out first, but I can't find it. Um, yeah, okay. Without that, let's just move on then. Uh, let me just see something first. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. So never mind. Okay. Yeah. What was I doing? Okay. Yeah. I got distracted there again. Uh. But yeah. Okay. Uh, the airport terminal, guys. I feel like we should have one. Why on this side, actually? Um, I mean, I could get it, like, 
something like smashing into this place, which I could do, but okay, 25 by 15, let's do that first, okay? 25 by 15, how much is this gonna cost me? 25 by 15, okay, there we go, yeah, okay, you know what, yeah, let's go for this one, we will sort of adjust this for later on, let's sort of finish this out, uh, whilst they sort of try and build that, which is gonna take a little bit of time, we will also place a uh, bus stop and a taxi drop off place, or is it like something else? Well, car drop off place. Well, we'll get those guys, we'll get those. Let's say, um, where can we find them? I can't know. I mean, I don't know. So I'll need the bus stop right there. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna need the bus stop to be near the airport, to be honest. And we're gonna have to place them. Uh, I feel like we should place them like right there. And then I should go for. Again, I should have. Ah, oh, darn it! I, I want to stop this. I want to stop this. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, just give me a second. I want to do this. It's just I need to see where is the right position for it. Okay, I need to see. There should be like a planning mode. Ah, oh, come on. There should be a planning mode. Okay, let's get some uh, large sliding doors over here, by the way, because again, um, although because I want them to be like in the middle of sorts. Let's get the sliding doors over here instead. Ah, darn it! Okay, so this is 25, so that's about 23. I really need to plan this out before I do anything. I mean, I don't want to do this like willy-nilly, now do I? Um, airport infrastructure. There should be a planning mode somewhere. Ah, darn it, why don't I find it? I know there should be one. Zones and rooms, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Medium, medium, okay, no, not none of these. Uh, building tools. Could it be this save template, copy-paste? Proper planning mode under construction plan. How do I plan? How do I even plan this out? You know what? Uh, you might as well just let it go. Let's just sort of build this according to what we can do. Uh, let's go for some large doors. Here we go. Uh, for people to go in and out of the airport. Here we go. Two of these should be fine. I feel like this is in the middle of sorts. And I just realized that there's like something there. Oh no, that's, a, that's just the wall. Okay. No, I'm gonna add like one more, so that's three. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, see, the grid sort of also uh, does weird stuff where we don't know what we're doing. Okay, never mind, never mind. What we will do is we will get ourselves the oh windows, oh windows. I will get some windows later on. Uh, templates, no decorations that I want. There to be infrastructure. I need the bus stops. Yes, right outside this, by the way. Uh, I'm gonna get one and then I'm gonna get me some car stops which is gonna be like right there and there and then I'm gonna get me another bus stop right over there now I know it's not exactly in the middle but that's because I can't plan this out there's probably a way to plan this out one two three let's see one two and not three ah darn it pause again see that's the problem isn't it I should have gone for my own uh, set really instead of what they told me to do just annoying, just annoying. Let's see. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm gonna go for. So we've got like one bus stop away. And then one bus stop away right over there. And then I'll say, show me some car stops. Okay, let's go one and two. We still have some open spaces where we can go for some taxi spots if I wanted to. Huh. A public car stuff will sort of be. Ah, darn it! I always keep on pressing the wrong button. Oh, well, you know what? Let's just keep it this way. Uh, let's go for some sidewalks instead, and we'll eventually work out what we can do about this stuff. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Can I sort of say no to these again? I know, I know, I said like pull these in, but I'd like to sort of say uh, no. Come on. Okay, yeah. So, I'll, um, uh, darn it. Okay, yeah. We go here. We press the. No, you can't do this this way. How are we supposed to take these out before these are being constructed, you know? Uh, can I say no? No, I can't. Okay, you know what? Just build this and then we'll sort of come back to this. Let's go for the sidewalk though, because sidewalk is important. Let's see. Uh, floors, floors, floors. Okay, I feel like that's not where it is. Okay, here we go. Sidewalk. Finally. Done. Okay, let's go for some sidewalk over here. Uh, I need these to basically lead to the doors right on there. That's good. Finally. Okay, so that means people will be able to go in and out. Okay, open heat map panel and have a look where your passengers and employees can walk. Uh, okay, where's the heat map panel? I feel like it should be here somewhere. Uh, okay, it's like right next to this one right there. Heat maps, 
uh, passengers can walk in this way and all that stuff, but you can't go in there by the way, so that's good. That's secured and all that stuff is good. Okay, moving on. Uh, you can sort of close this, thank you very much, we're still working on the rest. Uh, whilst you guys do this, we will sort of move on to the next bit. Uh, next bit, which is now we have the basic passenger flow configured, soon the terminal will be buzzing with life. Before that, let's take care of the future of staff. Well, we need to office decoration. Try about a staff room. Well, uh, where do we get the staff room at? That's a good question if you ask me. I'd say, um, from my experience, I haven't played the game to this bit. I mean, this is where I basically stopped, but I haven't played it this much. So let's get some of the office and decorations. Uh, firstly, we're going to need uh, to go to staff, and we're going to need to drag out in staff room. Staff zone, office desk. Okay, so we are gonna need a staff room zone. Um, question is where? Question is where? Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get me a staff room zone right over here. I'm gonna say right opposite door. Again, okay, let me just see. So we've got like one, two, one, two, and then go up. It's gonna be 16, by the way, just in case. And I'm gonna go like that. Okay, that's going to be the staff room door, uh, sorry, zone area. I know we are going to have to place the office desks and all that stuff in that place. Firstly though, uh, let's sort of let them, ooh, oh, oh, I think I need to build a place, like a wall of sorts, and I can't see where this is. Oh, there we go, fine. So we have a wall, I'm going to go like that, and I'm going to go like that, okay, very good. Now, this is actually under my... Head. In my head, how we are going to do this? Let's go for this and uh, that because we don't want them to get stuck. I'm gonna slow down a bit and go for some doors immediately as soon as possible. Let's go for some medium doors right there. I think that should be good. Hopefully, yes. Though, once we have this in, we will be able to place some office desks, uh, office and uh, place a few office desks. Okay, I think it should be under the same stuff. Yep, there we go. Office desks. They are quite small. Uh, okay, again, I do this all the time. Uh, I'm supposed to be pressing R, but I keep on pressing E instead. So we're going to need an office desk right there. We're going to need a few office desks actually going forward. I can't even see which way it's supposed to be. Okay, so let's go for one, two, uh, okay. You know what? Go for one more and one more. So that's actually okay. I mean, I know that there's like some open spaces here and there, but you know what? Okay, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna go for one and one. So that should be enough. Okay, place a few office desks and they will be okay, guys. Let's see. Uh, once this is done, decorate terminal by putting in some new floors. Obviously, that's something we should do. Uh, that's something we will do. Floors. Uh, should we go for the blue that they are suggesting? No, let's go for our channel colors, which is red and black and all that stuff. And that should be nice. Beautify the terminal with some nice plants. Now, we are gonna sort of beautify this place. Like the terminal like that. We are going to beautify this area though. Um, okay, this is actually not connected by the way, just in case you are not seeing this. Uh, but I am going to beautify this with some plants, which should be here. Uh, okay, desk plants. Uh, are these hedges, plants? I, I thought I saw desk plants. Huh. Ah well, it's fine. Let's go for some small ones here. And there, and there, and there, and we are not done yet. Don't give me the next instruction. I want the medium plant stuff as well. Let's go. One and two. So there we go. Should be nice and dandy and we will see what we can do. Before you can accept commercial airlines you are, and handling pass, uh, its passengers, we need a commercial license. Let's set up the office spaces in the staff room uh, and uh, for the airport's administrators to work on R&D projects. So how are we going to do this? Well. Hire at least two administrators, they will work on R&D projects and unlocking objects and systems. Uh, open staff tab application, staff tab application, uh, where's the application, it should be right there. Okay, so, uh, what do we need, what do we need, well, we need like two administrators, we've got administrative stuff all over the place, CFO, administrator, can we sort of filter by, yep, okay, administrators, let's go. Okay, so who is the best, my friend? Who's the best? It seems like you, my friend. 26.2 and 19.1. You know what? I'm gonna go for this person, that person, and that person. The rest of you need a lot more betterment. Okay, uh, so let's sort of um, start the stuff, which is gonna be... Where is it? So we're supposed to go Operations tab. 
open the uh, R&D project, click a new stuff right there and what we need is a commercial license, start project, we will sort of get this done and hopefully we will be having this uh, started. Oh, we need to assign some people, actually three people, go on. So this should be done eventually, so once this is done we will sort of be able to accept commercial flights and that should do the trick. But for now though guys, I think I'm going to sort of call it an episode for today because we've gone on for long enough, we've got all these people working, we've still got like the terminal to build, we've still got to get the commercial license to be done which is going to take some time. So once we come back next time, we will have the commercial license stuff done and I'm probably going to build all these roads as well uh, that need to be connected. But anyways guys, for now though, it's going to be a goodbye from me, Sadman Plays. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, remember to like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comment section below which of your favorite, uh, sorry, which of the airport games is your favorite. Obviously you're watching airport CEO so it might be, uh, you know, your favorite from the beginning. But anyways, still let me know guys, still let me know. I'd be interested to find out. So until next time though, it's going to be a goodbye from me, Sandman Plays guys. So until next time, remember to like, comment, share and subscribe and I'm going to see you next time guys. Until next time, bye bye.